Hey guys, Moran Pobert here, and this video is all about how to find motivated sellers, and this is part one. Let's get to it. So, hey, welcome back to another video. If you're new to this channel, my name is Moran Pobert. I'm in this space of buying businesses for the last three years, full time, and I'm here to share my journey, document my journey. It's, I guess, a channel that I wish that I had when I started. Like, I felt like I'm missing so many nuances on this space of buying businesses. And I'm here to show you that it's going to take you probably the same amount of money or less to buy an existing profitable business than it is to start something from scratch. I'm also here to show you that you can do it and literally get your freedom back because you can find someone to run the day to day of those businesses yourself. So you can then have your freedom to do whatever you want or go and buy more businesses pretty much, which is what I'm focused on. I'm also here to show you that if you have an existing business, this is the best way for you to grow, grow by acquisitions versus growing internally by doing just more sales and marketing. There's only so much you can grow by doing more sales and more marketing. You can grow by years worth of sales in an afternoon by buying another similar company to yours. So this is what this channel is all, all about. Um, subscribe, comment, I promise you won't regret, like the video, help me with the engagement of this channel and see in the description below there's a link to a free business buying mastermind. It's all about this space of buying businesses. It's a free group, you can join it and also there's a link below on I, I guess you giving me uh, suggestions on next topics for videos. I'm trying to post daily and I need ideas. So to see the description below, you give me your details and give me your biggest question and I'll create personalized videos for you. So see in the description right now, go to it and let's, let's get to today's topic now. So today we're going to talk about how to find sellers and most important, it's not about finding any, any seller, it's about finding someone who's motivated to sell. Because in the end of the day, all the businesses out there are for sale. It's all about the price and the terms and the time that you, you talk to them. And people always ask me, how do I find those motivated sellers, the, the holy grail of buying businesses? How do I find motivated sellers, someone who is willing to finance a large chunk of the deal, someone people talk about getting 100% seller financing, where do I find all those deals? Where do they hide? I'm only talking to businesses who are trying to sell their business to me for 20 times multiples their EBITDA, their pre-tax profit. Where do I find those really, really motivated sellers? And I want to get into it today. Like this topic of finding motivated sellers or even to get them respond. Like one of the biggest questions I'm getting is I can't get the business owner to, to get back to me, to listen to me. They're not taking me seriously. They're, I can't even get in touch with many of those businesses. There's tons of gatekeepers uh, stopping me for talking to the business owners. Uh, I guess that combined with how to finance the deal and how to raise capital and how to pay for a business if I don't have too much cash in my bank account. Those are probably the main two questions that I'm getting from people on how to buy businesses. And I'm gonna destroy some of the myth, myths, myth, if that's it's even a word today. And I'm going to really, really explain to you if and what you need to do. Now, to begin with, one of the biggest things that, that I see happen to a lot of people is they talk to me and they just tell me, hey, look, I picked that sector. It took me a lot of time to find my niche, to find my passion. I, I worked so hard to think about my sector and niche. And now I'm going out there and I'm trying to talk to business owners and it feels like no one is motivated to sell his business and I'm not sure what to do. So I decided to change the sector, to change my niche and to go to completely different niche. I know and I feel and I know for certain that there are many, many motivated sellers in that other sector. So I decided to leave and uh, everything that I did so far, I build all the relationships and network and contacts within that one sector. And now I'm going to completely build everything from scratch in a different sector. Now, some of those people are really, really smart people. I'm talking about doctors or engineers or people who literally they accomplished something in life and they worked so hard to start to build a network in one specific industry. And now out of a sudden they decided that their sector isn't good enough and they're going to a completely different sector and they're going to literally start from scratch going into a sector that they know nothing about, have no experience about because they think that there's the, the better sellers are out there in that other sector that isn't their sector. And they're starting to self-doubt themselves. They think that everything they're doing is wrong. They wasted so much time on that one sector. And many times they even give up before they go to the second sector. Like if you're trying a different sector, that many times mean that you didn't give, didn't give up yet, which many times I guess is good. But I mean, like literally smart people, they go and start to, to start everything from scratch in a completely different sector. And they, do, they shouldn't do that. Now, another thing that I hear a lot about is 
Moran, how, how do you get all those motivated sellers? You're probably finding all those deals from brokers. You probably have good, good relationship with those brokers. And because you have your track record and network and people with track record in your team, you are able to access deals with those brokers that I can't because I don't have the track record and experience. Now, I'm here to tell you with our company, we're about to close four deals right now in, in all, all over the world, mostly US and the UK, that's, that's our focus. But I'm, I'm thinking right now, none of those deals are from brokers, none of them. And what people don't understand is that in the end of the day, if you look at all of the businesses out there, I'm not even talking about the fact that most businesses fail when they start from scratch, but even after most businesses exist for five or even 10 years, most of the businesses out there, especially in the range that we're looking at, I'm talking one to five or 10 million in sales, most of them are kind of like, uh, I guess, breaking even or semi-distressed. And what you need to understand is that the only thing that's holding you back from going around those people or to find those motivated sellers is to put yourself in front of those businesses that are kind of like semi-distressed. And when you know how to position yourself and what kind of, uh, I guess, words say to those business owners, they'll be open to sell the business to you because they're literally semi-distressed. They're almost distressed, like they're in a they're, they're many times at a point where it's, they're, they're one or two or three months before they'll maybe need to shut down their business. And when you come at the right time and you, want, you know what the right words to say, those businesses that you thought at first aren't motivated, they're now very, very motivated to sell to you their business because you know what to tell them. Now, you need to understand most of those businesses that we're talking to, um, they're not going out there and begging for brokers to sell their business. Many times they're even afraid to list their businesses with a broker because they don't want their competitors to know that they're potentially for sale. And that's why they're many times even afraid to talk to potential buyers, which is why you many times can't even get access to those, to those business owners because you don't know how to position yourself in a way that is kind of like a safe pair of hands. And you going out and showing that, hey, I'm not your competitor, I'm not trying to harm you. And those owners um, many times just don't want to feel like they're begging for someone to save them, if that makes sense. And yeah, many times those businesses are kind of like boring businesses in quotes because they're not the, the latest technology or, or let, it, let us whatever invention. Uh, and if you're okay with those type of businesses, you can get those businesses for a very fair accounting valuation. And again, I'm not talking about technology businesses where you can get like crazy multiples and their growth rate in those businesses are many times crazy, like really, really crazy and they're profitable as fuck basically. Um, but in the end of the day, if, you've, if you're going to boring businesses, traditional businesses, businesses with tangible assets, you can get amazing, amazing deals for very fair accounting valuations if you go in front of those owners. Now, I really want to bust that myth. When you come with the right team behind you, with the right words to say to those business owners, you don't need to talk to business owners who are literally about to die or have like very unfortunate circumstances or things happening in their life in order to buy their business for a fair price. Again, if you have the right process to filter them, the right system to filter through them very fast, and the right team behind you to position yourself as a legit buyer, as someone who isn't going to destroy their brand and the track record and, and they're basically their baby. Remember, most of those business owners, uh, many times that's their only business, that's the first time they ever sell a business, and they're afraid to, to, to give up their, their baby literally and, and open everything for you, a person that they potentially never heard about or the first time they talk to. And remember, especially with those businesses that I'm talking about, many times it's not even about the price that you offer to them. And that's so crucial. It's more about what you're able to give them that isn't just the price. And it's a lot of, it comes down to the subconscious and what you're willing to, to uh, I guess, transfer, if that makes sense, emotionally. And, and you need to understand, especially with those small businesses, it's more about the emotion and the trust and the rapport that you build with those owners that will allow you to buy their business from them uh, versus someone else. And many times you can offer in regards to money and capital less than someone else if you know how to position yourself right and emotionally you know how to connect with that business owner. And you'll see you can transfer, you can uh, basically transform, transform someone who isn't motivated to someone who's very motivated literally within very few short meetings if you have the right process and system and obviously you have the right team behind you to position yourself as someone who is legit and we're going to talk about it in the later videos i'm going to create some kind of a, a sequence on how to find those sellers um, so yeah that's it for today uh, we're going to continue to talk about it and give you a few more ideas and thoughts in the next video so i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you soon
Hey guys, Moan Pobera here and thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment below, help me grow the channel because the more you help me grow the channel, the more deals I'll be able to do and the more I'll be able to give you more value. So please, if you didn't yet, like the video right now, subscribe right now and comment below on this video. Let me know your thoughts. And also check in the description below this video, there's a text description where you can have a link to a free business buying mastermind group that we have on Facebook. Join it right now if you're not in it yet. There are amazing people in there, people who are looking or doing deals on a regular basis and you can be part of this conversation. So go to the description right now. Also, I'm looking to create daily videos on the topics of buying and growing businesses and I need your help on having ideas for more topics. So in the description below, you also see a link for a survey where you give me your biggest question. You just fill in, fill in your personal details and I'll create a personalized video for you based on your specific question. So help me with that. Put your details below in the survey and give me ideas for videos. Do it right now after you join the Facebook group. And if you like this type of content or just in general looking to accelerate your growth and buy businesses faster and you want to take things to the next level, if you want to see if you're a fit to our partner program and basically have access to a team that did more than 300 deals, it's mainly me and my partner Kyle Ellen and we have a main CFO who was involved in many, many deals. So if you want access to that and you want us to be your partners, if you want access to us 24 seven, I mean access to me in my Skype, my personal email, my phone number if needed, and you want us to show you A to Z how to buy and grow businesses and how to grow by acquisitions and not just show you what to do, but also be there with you and help you close deals as your partners. We want to do more deals and we can help you do that. You'll learn everything from how to position yourself as a legit buyer if you, if you have no experience and how to use our track record as your dream team and position yourself as a legit buyer in front of business owners and brokers. How to then find motivated sales because everyone can find business owners and tell them that you want to buy their business but most of them are not motivated to sell their business and we will show you how to find motivated sales. We'll show you how to talk to those business owners, how to negotiate deals with them, how to get the financials from them and how to use our team to do all the calculations and make sure that the deal is a good deal. Because yes, you can buy a business, but what if it's a shitty business and you don't know how to calculate the right ratios? You don't want to be screwed in this space. You'll then see how to get financing on your, those deals. And not only that, we will open our our contacts and the access to all the financial institutions that we know. We will show you how to get accountants and lawyers on success fees. And obviously we have our team to do that. So you won't need to even find them. And we'll then of course show you how to grow those businesses and how to make sure we have someone operating the day to day for us. Because unless you want to run businesses day to day because you're passionate about it, we highly suggest you not to do that. We can find someone to run the day to day for us while we in charge of the vision and setting goals for that manager. Not only that we're going to open our doors to all the financial institutions that you need, we are also going to put our personal capital into deals in our group of partners, in our shark tank. We're going to create some kind of a shark tank where we're going to look at deals that you want to buy and we potentially going to invest our own capital, basically going to put some equity kick into those deals. So many times, you know, you can buy a million dollar business, but you're missing 50 grand here, 100,000 here, and we are able to put our personal capital just because we believe in those deals. Those are our, the best deals out there. Investing in small businesses is, is the best thing an investor can do. And we will put the capital into some of those deals as well. So if you need help with that, you can apply to the program if you never bought a business before or if you have an existing business and you want to grow it by acquisitions and go and buy other complementary businesses. This is for people who understand that they need to invest in themselves in order to get to a point where they can buy a million dollar business. And it's also for, for people who understand that every day that go by and you're not buying another million dollar business and you're not owning another million dollar business, it's costing you million dollar. So if you're trying to learn about this space for one month or two months or one year or two years, every month that go by and you didn't buy a business cost you another $1 million. So don't hustle anymore to get another client for your business. Let's hustle together to buy a million dollar business as partners. And don't get me wrong, you can definitely try and do it on your own just by watching my free videos. Some of the info I have here, I literally paid multiple six figures to learn. But the partner program is for people who want to accelerate their growth, who want to have access to people and contacts and doors that they wouldn't have otherwise. 
This is for people who want to cut their learning curve in years. That is for people who are committed to take decisions right now and get results right now. So if you don't want to wait, go to moranpober.com forward slash talk and me or one of my team members will talk to you to see if it's a fit. The worst case is that you'll get a better clarity on your next steps in this space of buying businesses and will give you all the advice that you want. The best case is that you'll have access to a team that did more than 300 deals who will buy with you as your partners, your first or first, second or as many businesses as you want with you as soon as possible. So if you want, go right now to moranpober.com forward slash talk and I'll talk to you soon. I hope you enjoyed this video and the other videos on this channel. Like, subscribe, comment, help me grow the channel, help me buy more businesses so I can help you buy yours as well. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.